cool. Hi. What's going on? Let's see if we can make it. Listen here, if you guys didn't send me on this wild goose chase to find a stable last night, we would have made it, okay? We would have made it. Corbo, thank you for the 30, 30 months of Twitch Prime 7. Thank you, thank you. Good evening, everybody. Hope you guys had a wonderful day today. Uh, we are picking up. Uh, we're continuing with more um, additional breaths in the wild. You ain't leaving? Uh-uh. You can't quit me. <laughs> really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, yeah, last night was crazy, man. We had almost 100 people in here last night, which is, I mean, you guys know we used to for a while with DBD. We had 100 people on here in, in the channel regularly. Um, it's been a little while, so it was kind of cool. I actually had a check because I felt like we had a lot of follows last night. So for those of you who kind of came by last night uh, and are back tonight, welcome back. Also, I'm uh, happy to say that I did make it through uploading all, I think it ended up being, I don't know exactly what it was, but it was close to probably 30 hours, 25 hours of, of uh, Wind Waker HD uh, content onto YouTube. So the entire, uh, the entire playthrough is on YouTube. If you want to help the YouTube channel, occasionally throw those on and let those play through. Appreciate it. Nice song. Yeah, this is a good playlist. I really enjoy this a lot. But anyway, uh, good to be back tonight. I'm a little bit tired, so we're not probably going to go as long as we went last night. We streamed for almost four and a half hours last night, which for me on a work night is it's kind of long. So uh, we'll go we'll go a few hours and, and we'll kind of see how things go here. But uh, welcome in, everybody. Good to have you back. And uh, let us begin, shall we? Yeah, we had a good time last night, though. Really nice time. And uh, I was blown away, absolutely blown away by how wonderful this game is. Uh, I knew it was going to be good. Uh, I've never played a bad Zelda game, but this was just, this was on a, a different level. So I see, I, I can understand and appreciate uh, where people are coming from uh, with the praise that they're dishing out for this game. Really, really great. Hey. All right. So we we did stable Ed. Ed is the horse, by the way. For those of you who aren't here, we did name our horse Ed, which I thought was, was nice. Um, now I have a question. For those of you who are a little bit more savvy to this game. Now, if you stable your horse, do you, if you take it out and you leave it out and will it just run away and never come back? Or since now, since we've stabled it, it's now, even if it runs away. Am I sure Ed's a mystery? I mean, I did not confirm, uh, did not confirm gender. Uh, I did presume it's gender, yes. It's stuck to me now. Okay, so we can take it back, and if even if it runs off, we could just, uh... We could do one of these joints, right? We could do one of those guys. And we can get it. Is that correct? Oh Chia Cat, good to see you. Welcome back. Oh, can we take these apples? Are these ours for the taking? Are we G-ing these apples? They're ours now. Porch. Can't carry any more melee weapons. Well, we do have a cooking pot here. This is nice. It's kind of like a little little base camp. Kind of cool. Farmer's pitchfork. Uh, we can't take it. What can we lose to make room for it? We don't need these tree branches, guys. Come on. Whoever recommended the tree branches, <laughs> please. Talk to the dude behind the counter. Okay. I think we do have some additional. Hang on a second. Is this a uh, what is this? What is this over here? Is it, uh, I don't know if we can traverse this, can we? Oh yeah, we should be able to. We could just use, uh, not bombs. <laughs> hang on, don't, hang on, before I blow myself up. <laughs> before I blow myself up, let me take a, let me take a second here. Uh, we should be able to hop over here, right? I have a feeling it's not going to be uh, close enough, but we'll give it a try. Oh, we did make it. Would you look at that? Get a self upgrade points from the. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Feed the puppy? Maybe I will.
Yeah, we're going to need to upgrade the stamina tonight. We'll probably need to get another heart container as well, because I don't want to, like, as Alec affectionately put earlier, the bombing runs. I don't necessarily want to make every encounter a bombing run. I do want to get in there and, and get uh, make some contact happen there, but I just don't have a ton of confidence with my low health pool at the moment. There are 120 in total, all hidden around the world. That's pretty cool, man. What a big, big game. What a big, uh, big giant- oh man, my Joy-Cons are, are sticking. I'm gonna lock this back in place here. Hope this won't be a problem. Pro controllers game chain. I know, man. I want to trust. Trust me, man. I want to. How are we gonna get up here now? Hmm. How are we gonna do this? Can we? Can we even? I don't think there's anything to magnetize, right? Oh, that's the boomer. Okay. No, there's nothing here. Is there a platform we can grab or? No, I don't think so. Interesting. You can place ice on waterfalls. Is that right? Let's try it. That doesn't seem like it should be. There's no way. I'm sorry. You just slide right down there. There's no way. I, I'm sorry. Hang on, we got, I have to move this. I have to move this. Probably put it maybe a little bit closer there too. All right, let's see if we can make this work. I, I don't really, I don't really buy that one. <laughs> but okay, we'll take it. It's fine. It's it's no problem. It's pretty cool cool looking shrine. More beach balls, more party beach balls going on here. All right, let's uh, get a let's survey the land here a little bit and see what's happening. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Okay. I'll have to use one more here, right? some good range on it. Okay. All right, let's try that and see. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> All right. Hang on. We'll we'll get it, chat. We'll get it. Hang on, I don't think that's right either. Nope. The inverted, like, to tilt these, it's actually a very, it feels a little bit awkward. Okay, that's not it either. We need one down here, I think. There we go. Only took a half hour. This open gates? It does. Would you look at that? You did it so long. 
I mean, I can't imagine doing it any differently, to be honest with you. There's a chest behind me. Okay, let's look. Is it up, up, up top there? I can't see it from this vantage point. We'll, we'll take a look at it in a second. When we get down here and look. Where I came from at first. Okay, we will, uh, we will revisit. We'll revisit that. <clears throat> there could be more than one in here, I suppose, right? Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Yeah, we've heard all this many times. So what are we getting? Do we not get any more cool toys? Abilities? We got a spirit orb, but you trade those in for hearts and stamina buffs and everything like that, right? So that's, that's the, I guess that's our prize, right? You don't always get a, uh, a new ability. You got all the tools from this. Okay. Okay. Got it. So our spirit orbs are currency for becoming stronger and having more stamina and things like that. A couple more tools you get from the world, but that's it from shrines. Okay. Got it. Good to know. Alright, let's find out where this chest is. I'm sure it's like another amber or something like that, but let's go take a peek and, uh, and figure it out. Alright, let's see. Oh, there's the chest there. Okay, got it. There it is. Uh, okay. Might be a little ambitious. Nope, it sure isn't. Um, hang on a second. Let's get rid of this one. I'm trying to think of the best way of going about doing this. Thought that might happen. That's okay. Okay, so we're gonna have to. Can I just climb up here? No. Okay, we're gonna have to break this one down here. Fall off this one, though. Uh, do one more just to make sure, yeah. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. Yeah, I'm doing very well. We got the chest. Purple, or we got 50 bucks. That's not bad. We'll take 50 US American dollars. Is there anything else we can get here? Anything else at all? Is there another chest up here, maybe? I kind of want to explore it and see. Would you guys be opposed? my nose. I don't know if there's really a point to this at all, but I'm kind of interested. I don't think there's any way we can get high enough where we can float across, but it feel I feel like you sh kind of should be able to, right? It's hard to tell. A 
cutting it close here. Cutting it a little close. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. <laughs> Are we stuck? Did I make that I make myself stuck? I think I did. <laughs> I was going to say, I think we're in a state of falling. <laughs> okay. Didn't work. Yeah, I thought there would be something over there, but it does, I, I mean, is there something up there? I don't think so. There's no real way to get over there either. At least not that I can tell. I feel like there should be something though, so I'm really torn and conflicted about it as you can see. No, maybe not. Okay. Waste of time, yes? Yeah, I know. I know. I did a big I did a big dumb big dumb fall. I almost ran down again just now. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go uh let's go um meet Impa. We got things to do. Let's grab our horse. Is that a, uh, hang on, is that Beetle? <laughs> With a big old backpack full of stuff? <laughs> what was that noise? What in the world? Alright, let's cook some, uh, some, some Hylian bass, shall we? What do you guys think? <laughs> that noise was too good, man. Let's cook it up. One of my favorite things to do in this game is cooking. Cooking time, cooking time, making all the food, it's cooking time. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of stuff in the pot and see what happens. Fish skewer. We didn't get any benefits from that though. I think we uh, just did did too many things to it. I think we did too much stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> Meat skewer. It's always getting dark in here, isn't it? It's always dark all the time. Fold. Uh, let's also. Is a is a fish considered a critter? This is a critter, right? How do you know what the classification is? How do you know, chat? Yeah, there's there's a doge. Yep. There's all kinds of stuff happening out here. All right, well here, you know, let's just try it. Got an FYI for you. Someone has been going around saying they got scammed by a community manager for be for behavior for a hundred dollars to see. Wait, really? Well, we're not really too connected with uh, Dead by Daylight or behavior these days, so I'm not. I'm not. I appreciate you letting me know, but I don't. I'm not too uh, too terribly concerned. Not too terribly concerned at the moment, but I'll keep an eye. I think I'll definitely keep an eye. Dubious food. It's very dubious. Yeah, see, I'm still trying to figure out. See, with a critter, is this, so? Is this considered a? Uh, is this considered a critter? Usually, it says in the description. Uh, if you can not cook it with monster parts, okay. Okay. They've been going around to most of the known DVD streamers. Uh, they uh, came into Vince's stream today and he was playing Boss Simulator. Oh, gotcha. Okay, yeah, I saw him. I popped in. I was looking to play uh, 
bust simulator, but I didn't I didn't say anything. Hey Gizmo, what's up, man? How are you? What's up, dude? How are you, bud, bud? Yeah, we're doing uh, clean, clean stream arena. <laughs> Paste the mushroom skewer. And it goes without food. Okay, cook with monster parts. Okay, I understand. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, hold. And we'll use the iron shroom as well. We'll have a variation of cooking. Cooking, uh... <laughs> Recipes going here. Hey, what's up, Spaz? How you doing, dude? We're uh, no profanity right now, just so you know. But it's good to see you, dude. Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're holding up well in the uh, in this uh, situation out here. Hold, hold, and we'll put it with this guy. No, you're good, man. You didn't know. You didn't know. That's why auto mod is uh, very strong. <clears throat> I messed up again. <laughs> Okay, I think... I think we're good, right? I think we have enough stuff made. We could bake, I guess, a couple apples. <laughs> the big ham? Yeah, I got you on that. The big ham. I got you, man. I see you. <laughs> Cooking takes a bit to... Yeah, it seems like there's a couple... Little nuances to it. All right, can we feed the pupper? He's chasing his tail. He doesn't want it. He wants meat, probably, doesn't he? Does he want this fish? Here, do you want this fish, dog? How much you have a fish and an apple? Oh, he does want the apple, and he's happy with the apple. Hang on, I want to take that fish back then. <laughs> Listen. Listen, if you're happy with the apple, there's no reason to ruin a good time, yeah? No reason at all. <laughs> How's the beard? What do you th well, what do you think? How is the beard, Spaz? I haven't been to the barber in like a month, man. I look, uh, I'm looking a bit raggedy. Uh, no, I don't want that. Where's my horse? Will I be staying? No. I, ju I just want the horse, man. Where Where is my horse? This looks like the inn, though. Hang on, let's go around this side. <laughs> Outside window for staple stuff. It's the same guy, though. Why can't he? Why can't we do the business on the uh, other side? Oi! Oi! <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'm gonna take my horse. Ed. Let's go, Ed. You're a good horse. I'll hand let me handle the pay yeah, you handle all that paperwork, bud. <laughs> you handle all that paperwork. Where is my oh there he is. Okay. There's no way to really confirm gender, uh, I'm afraid. It it would appear it is a mare, but I can't I can't be sure of that. <laughs> Gotta soothe the horse. Oh yeah, we 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 uh we we're very soothing, very soothing. Yeah. Now listen, you just got out of the stable. You're already acting ornery. All right. Why don't you take it easy? Why don't you take it easy, horse? That's exactly what it was, Jay. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> but no, we didn't name it Mr. Ed. We just named it Ed. Oh boy. I like Ed. Ed's a good, it's a good trusty steed. Does it talk? You have to be, you have to be seen. Yet to be seen. Oh. 
Please don't go off the cliff. All right. I got a little nervous there for a second. Ed Pona, that's perfect. Ed Pona. This uh, horse is very insecure. It needs constant reassurance. Will your uh, next two horses be Ed and Eddie? Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I see what you did there. I barely made that out, Alec. Thank you. There's a shrine nearby. Can you turn straight, please? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I have no idea what that was all about. What happened to you? Okay, let's find Impa. Let's get this show on the road. All that beeping from my, uh, from my Hylian PDA is a little bit frustrating. Excuse me. Take a look here. You can turn it off. Yeah, I might do that because it's like getting to be a little not Oh, oh, okay. She's she's back here. <laughs> Stay here now. Actually, let me. Can I give? Let me give Ed an apple here. Let me give Ed an apple here. No, not- that's not what I wanted at all. <laughs> oh, did he- did he take it? Looks like he took it, actually. <clears throat> A man. <laughs> Is that- It's a chic slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Lin- Lee Lin- um... It's not that I forgot, I'm just bad as with speaking. As for me, my name is Pei. Is it Paya? Paya. My name is Paya. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been waiting waiting your return ever since I was little. Let's hurry inside. Thank you for the information. Look at that hat. So you're finally awake. Dude, is this the grandma from, uh, Wind Waker? It's been quite a long time, Link. I'm much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Nope. I don't. I'm sorry. What is the matter? You're looking at me as though I'm some stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, Courageous One, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. Only because it was told to me recently. So you have lost your memory? Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Please come a bit closer. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone, she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Belda Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I've been waiting a hundred years to deliver the princess's message. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you're still without your memories. I'll leave the choice to you. When you feel you're ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. I'm ready now. I cannot pass until someone who lacks conviction. I am. I'm ready. <laughs> I just want the information. 
Not a memory to your name yet. You are as intent as ever to charge forward with the only courage and justice. Only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed one bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Very well. Since you've lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. Ooh, cutscene. Cutscene time. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon. A primeval evil, or a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again. By a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the Denzians of the realm. The people thought it was wise to utilize their techn technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity again and ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. We kind of heard this already a little bit, didn't we, to some extent? I'm sure there's going to be more to it, though. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against these, this ancient evil. The guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the divine beast unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible, uh, terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. But then, suddenly... A hundred years ago, in preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. <clears throat> Free the four divine beasts, that's what she said. Cool, got it. I, uh, figured as much. It seems to me that your Sheikah slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you as your guide, also your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hatino, Hatino Village might be able to help you. Hatino you know, Village, can you mark it on my map? Got it. The location shining on the eastern edge is Hatino Village. It's a small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. Locked mementos. You are Princess Zelda's only hope in High Rules as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. All right. We're ready. We're ready to finish the video game right now. Just kidding. But then the Fire Nation attacked. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I love Avatar, man. 
Avatar is such a tremendous uh, series. So Breath of the Wild has two endings, the standard one, and then the canon true ending. To get to the true ending, you have to recover all of Link's lost memories. I believe there's 12 total. They had nice cutscenes and background lore. Okay, so who knows? Who can tell me? Who can tell me where this falls in the timeline? Right, so who, where, like, in relation to, like, Skyward Sword being, like, the top, the very first story and everything. Where in the timeline does this fall? Does anybody know offhand? Yo, Fudge, what's up, man? 23 months. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that, man. Hope you're doing well, sir. I know you're doing well. I just saw you today. <laughs> I just spoke with you today. Briefly. Very briefly. Thank you very much for the 23, man. Really, really appreciate it. Fudge doesn't sleep. By the way, Fudge, just so you know, we are in uh, clean, profanity-free mode. It's unusual. <laughs> I saw a video a while ago, but I don't remember. Okay, this is the new storyline. Okay. All right, so we need to locate, give me a moment here. We need to probably upgrade ourselves a little bit here. We need to upgrade ourselves. Um, let's turn this off. Yeah, I don't want that on. It's noisy and disruptive. I was about to use profanity. Good thing you told me. See, I know fudge. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, there's a... Uh, we're go we've been family friendly with the Zelda content. All the previous incarnations diverged to this timeline. Okay. Yeah, this has been a, uh, a wholesome... There's a Hylian statue right next to you. Okay. So, I'm unfamiliar with this. I haven't... If, I, if there was any information on this, I, uh, I missed it. I didn't read it or I forgot. So I'm not I'm not super sure of how these uh, how this works. So there's a statue, you say, huh? Oh, this right here. Okay, got it. I had no idea all this time. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, you who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I can go for you great powers. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is that you desire. Definitely a heart container. We are stronger yet again. Yep, we need it. <clears throat> we need it bad. We also need to start getting some armor. Can we purchase armor or do we have to gain it through treasure? It looks like there is a, uh, hang on, you know what? Let's just go into some of these buildings because it looks like this is an armor. Armorer. -er -er -er. Good evening. Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. We exclusively stock the special garments of the Clary collection. In fact, that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. <laughs> it's highly recommended. Aim for at least 13. Yeah, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm aiming for as many as I can. I don't know at what point there becomes a, um, a higher amount of importance that needs to be placed on, uh, stamina, though. We also, uh, we also buy anything you don't need, so talk to me when you're ready. I want to sell. I want your money. Let's sell all of our amber here. How many would I like to sell? All of them. All of them, of course. We're gonna be rich. <laughs> you have anything else? Uh, I'll buy everything you have if you want. Fabulous. Ooh, an opal. Here's a power of water. See, I don't know what we need and don't need for other things, you know? Armor costs quite a bit. Let's, let's see what we're, uh... Let me take a look and see what I just want to look at what it is. It's probably way too expensive to buy, but let's just let's see how much more expensive it is. All right, so can we just Isn't that lovely? It's a limited edition ex enchanted exclusive. <laughs> it's all the rage on Instagram. <laughs> Keep your ancient screws. Okay, I kind of thought so. I thought so. 
Uh, while you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless, so it's perfect for hunting and, and stuff. <laughs> and selfies. Oh, but it offers very little defense. Small price for the extra stealth. Hylian Tunic. It's $120. Common garb that achieved widespread popularity in Hyrule, particularly among travelers. It's a light yet sturdy fabric. Doesn't limit movement. We have a Hylian Hood as well. What are these stats? You see the zero and then the three? What is that? Can somebody uh, enlighten me? Some nice slacks. All right. Dang, $600. <laughs> so the whole set would be... Can we just like transmogrify our rags that we've got on now? Yeah, because the stuff we have now is just janky. It's two, but like, I don't know what these values are. Like, what are these values? Armor and defense, okay. So one armor, three defense. I mean, I don't know if it's really worth my, I don't know if it's really worth my, uh, my, my investment. Or if we should just save for something more substantial. I don't know. I mean, the hood seems okay. We can buy the hood. I'll buy the hood. I'll take it. I'm going to equip this right now. You can upgrade armor. Okay. Its amount of damage is reduced. Okay. You know, I'm going to buy this too. Why not? I'm going to buy it as well. Yeah, we can, we can use the, uh, you know, we can use all the help we can get right now. All right, cool. Let's go. The Hylian pants you can get for free at the Temple of Time. Look at this drop. Kenneth's dropping huge, huge tips here. Wonderful. Come on now. Okay, so let's figure out where we're going here. We need to go. Actually, you know what I should probably do? I should probably turn this back on. It's annoying, but like I probably do need to use it because I need to know where things are. So there's one near, it's telling me one's nearby. But how close is the question? It doesn't really give me any directions or anything like that, does it? Let's go this way and take a look. I can buy rupees via microtransactions in this game. <laughs> is that right? Please tell me that's not actually true. There's a shrine up the hill literally right next to- okay, hang on. Alright, take it easy. Doesn't like it. They're there now. Come. What's up, Luscious? How's it going, man? It's beeping harder at us. There's some apples. You know what? Hang on a second. Chicken survived. I was hoping we could pick up like a chicken leg or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say, guys. I just want the cooking mats. By the way, I want to thank everybody for coming in tonight. It's good to have you. Thank you so much for joining me while we play some Breath of the Wild. Taking many breaths in the wild. Just got back from getting food. I want to know what you're eating because I'm hungry a little bit. We had uh, like stir fry tonight. It was good. There's a great fairy here as well. Hmm. You can buy Zelda's bath water from... <laughs> All right, Alec, you earned it. You got it. What's the movement? What am I ever made? Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, the, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. It's probably good that you're moving around, though, dude. To be honest. There's DLC. 
<laughs> it made you high. It, it did, yes. What do we have here? Eightfold blade, hey. That's what I'm talking about. Do I have room for this? I do. Fabulous. A single edged sword, traditional to the Sheikah tribe, forged using ancient technology, it might, it just may be among the sharpest conventional weapons ever made. Oh, it's valuable. Shield of the mind. Look at this stuff, man. We got some good. We got some good stuff here. Hang on, let me get rid of these uh these little janky shields that we have. We don't need these Boko shields anymore. Definitely not. Hang on a second. I want to drop, drop. Leave these old cracked acorn shells of a <laughs> of a of a shield. Man, dude, I feel I feel prepared for battle now. Uh oh, this is why we're equipped. So, uh, use a side hop. Hang on, I hang on. I I I, I knew I knew how to do this at one point. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna teach me. I'm gonna forget this in like five minutes. By the way, <laughs> by the way, I'm gonna forget this in just a moment. There we go. Ooh, you get a little, a little, uh... You get a little, a little backward hop there, too. that did oh man my sword is broken you know what we should have done all this time chat I can't do it here come on wait for it to strike the once it's about to hit you sidestep okay I don't know that you could finish this without using the flurry step. Okay, now let's let's do this. I've got I've got some other things we can use here. I'm a little sad about that sword that I just wasted carelessly. So now we have to do a, uh, an ad okay, yeah, that one I... Ow. Uh, Hiroki, thank you for the follow. Welcome. I gotta time this. That's pretty cool, the slow motion. I like that. I like that a lot. You can repel attack if you parry with your shield just at the right time. Strike back with the opening you create. Okay. Okay, that ain't it. I need a- do I need a one-hander for this? Do I need- I need a one-hander with this, don't I? Because I can't use both, right? What was the- what was the move for that? I thought it was A, was it not? I thought it was A. Ready shield press button, okay. Oh, 
Oh, I see. Got it. Okay. I understand now. Deliver power, then release it to a charge. Okay. So this is like a combat tutorial. Which, that part we've already figured out a little bit. Did we get our sword back? That we blew up? You have done well to learn these crucial skills that you'll forget in three minutes time. Now proceed. <laughs> Story of my life. Guardian sword. Beautiful. Ancient spring, ancient screw. Very good. If there's any more, any more chests or anything like that around here. There's one right there, obviously. We'll go in in just a moment, but... Yeah, I'm assuming so. Parry seems to be a very important ability in pretty much any game where parry is available to use at all. And we'll need one more shrine and then we can get another heart container too. Okay, so Chad, I need a little bit of help here for... I need a lot of help all the time, right? Let's be real. If I... What what items do I pick up that are automatic cells, right? Like, is Amber an automatic cell anytime you get one? Is that like, is it always a sellable item? Is Opal a sellable thing? Are these things that I should hang on to for crafting or something like that? I don't know if there's a crafting system or something like that. Or if they're materials that you use for upgrades or whatever, like, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to go in and sell a bunch of stuff and then find out later that, oh, I should have, you know what I mean? I should have, I should have hung on to that. Like, I don't want to do that. Where is me horse? Amber, all the gems, uh, rubies, opals, sapphires are all useful and upgrades for armor, but they can be sold. So, like, how do I value that, though? Like, is it just kind of depend on what I need in, in the moment? Keep monster parts. I got one apple out of that. Uh, Mordor. <laughs> it sort of looks like it. <laughs> oh, hang on a second. We gotta get some, uh, some drumsticks here. <laughs> give me, uh, give me one moment. Oh, too soon, chat. Too soon. Shame. What's that up there? Talk to the great fairy, she helps. Okay. I just love that this is open world as it is. Like, it doesn't matter that I have, like, no health here. Oh, there's another one down there. It, do it doesn't matter that you're low health, you can get literally go anywhere. Now whether or not you can make it past the enemies that you encounter all along the way, that's a different story, but... It's pretty cool that- I mean, you could go. You could go wherever you want. That's pretty amazing. For a Zelda game.
Yeah, we'll, we'll go back. We'll go back. I'm just, uh, riding and exploring right now. Wow, this definitely makes a huge difference <laughs> in traveling. Tremendous difference. Might be a little bit rough on the horse, I guess, but... go down this way huh. what do we get here for this meat. Perfect. Oh, this is all water here. I see. Okay. We're just going to cruise on down. I want to grab, there's a shrine up there too, it looks like. So there's a couple things I want to accomplish here now that I've seen them. Seems Ed isn't able to come. Well, he better figure it out. <laughs> he better figure it out real quick here, because I've got a lot of traveling to do. <laughs> I am very upset right now. Ed. <laughs> oh, what in the wide, wide world of sports is that? He's sleeping, though. Can't move right now. Thorlina coming in with the 21 months. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. Did you hear about the two pieces of rope that fell in love? They ended up tying the knot. It's going to go without a hitch. Unfortunately, their marriage eventually got frayed and it finally stamps. Lava. It's a Hylian, a real Hylian. I mean, you are a Hylian, right? I am. Thorlina, thank you again. You're making me want to sit down and play this game. <laughs> I knew it. I so knew it. Well, what are you waiting for? Go see Prince Sidon. He's waiting at Inogo Bridge, which is upstream of Zora River. Okay. You're going to mark my map? I know it's sudden, but you'll understand everything once you get there. Trust me, you'll see. Okay. Um... Our horse is stuck. <laughs> Big sad. There was a shrine here too, right? I should have pinned it. I should have dropped a pin. I think it's over here, right? Now I don't know how far away it is. I was expecting to have the horse. 
This is a divine beast quest if I want to do it. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Oh, it's one of these guys. Oh, it's one of you. <laughs> Clunk. I was about to. this for now, I guess. Oh, I can't really fight him out here. Okay, this is bad. Yeah, let's eat something. I gotta get out of here. This is bad news. Looks like there's a chest over here. Ten arrows, I'll take it. And I do want to go this way. Really wish I had that horse. So do I have to go back and recollect the horse? Is that is that the issue now? Do I have to go back up there and regather Ed, the horse? Or do I have to tame another horse? You can summon the horse from any stable. Oh, okay, got it. Oh, it's oh my gosh, the shrine is way over there. Yeah, no, I assume there would there would be a lot. Something else that's going blue over there. I think it might be something I already discovered, though. Uh-oh, is this going to be, uh... Man, even the bows break easily like that? What a bummer. Fleet Lotus Seeds. Raw prime meat. Ooh, baby. Sure do love me some prime beef. What's this shiny? Is it a fairy? Oh, it's one of these guys. Okay. You found me. Well, you were making all kinds of sparklies all over, bud. Cook those fleet lotus seeds, give you a speed boost. That'll be nice. Let's 
let's use, uh, I guess, just one of these basic bows for now. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Something over there I can fight, it looks like. One of those very jovial individuals over there. Let's put on the guardian sword. Oh, that is a cool sword. I thought we had some pre-cooked stuff. Let's use the eat this dubious food really quick. Get it out of the way. What did I get for my trouble here? Lightning rod, a magical rod that can shoot balls of electricity. Its gem contain, uh, contains lightning from Hyrule's hills. It's not recommended to use as a melee weapon. Yet, that's where I have to store it. Um, let's drop. Let's drop the leaf. I, well, I kind of want to keep the leaf just in case. Spiritus. All right, sounds good. You have a good rest. Thank you for swinging by. Oh my gosh, I'm just the worst at that. I didn't, I, how did I veer off so far? That is so strong, that guardian sword. It's not going to hold up for me, though. Miss Ivy, thank you very much for the 30 months. Man, a lot of resubs tonight. Thank you guys so much. Miss Ivy, appreciate the 30. Thank you, ma'am. How was Resident Evil? Resident Evil treat you well tonight? Look at all that prime beef that's getting away. You finished Claire A's round, did you? It's so much fun, isn't it? That was such a great game. That's not what I wanted to do. Imagine being able to keep good items. What universe do you speak of? No, the guardians are broke. Uh oh. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, come on. This is bad. Uh, 
This is not good for, uh, I'll have to use this. Ow. Can't even I can't even like fight these guys. My weapons just are just being destroyed instantly. Oh what? Oh you there. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Where are you? Who am I speaking to? Is it this bat that just suddenly froze in the oh it's this okay, got it. <laughs> My who is talking to me right now? Proud member of the Distinguished Zora. You're real highly and I had no choice but to call upon you. Will you please spare me a moment of your time? I mean, I'm kind of busy fighting bats and multiple dudes. See that tower, the one atop the, mo the mountain yonder? That's where I was headed. You should go upstream of Zora River, which runs along the north side of that tower to Anogo Bridge. You can see in your eyes, you're asking yourself, why me? <laughs> A reasonable question for a stranger accosted by a passing Zora in such a manner. But I must assure you this venture will be very profitable profitable for you as well. You see Prince Sidon of Zora is in desperate search of a strong Hylian. This is a royal request from the prince himself. It's safe to assume a generous reward is in the cards. That's why I'm asking to him. Yeah, okay. We have already received this directive. Some wings. Oh gosh, more guys. No, oh, I have no weapon. Come on, man. I want to just default to like the next one available. Made out of spaghetti noodles. <laughs> it kind of feels that way at times. I guess we could just do this. Spike Boko Bow. I'll take it. What's up, M1X? How are you? Welcome. How do we get in here? This spiked hill. Sorry, what? Hello? I love it, chat. You love to see it. Get him out of here. So you need to destroy the wooden spike somehow. Yeah. Yep. Maybe with fire? It doesn't seem as if, uh, bombs work. Shoot it with fire. I don't know if I have any fire arrows on hand. I could try. Let me see. Nope, I'm out of fire arrows, so we will not be able to do this shrine at the present time. What a bummer. We came all this way, too, for it. Big time bummer. 
have any flint. Oh, I do have flint. Yeah, I do. Strike him with a metallic weapon to generate a spark. It's portable fire starter breaks after one after one use. Create a lasting flame if you use it near firewood. So hold. Hang on a second. Can I put it like right here or something? I don't know how to do this. Oh, I'm out of arrow. I'm out of all kinds of arrows. <laughs> Never mind. I don't have any regular arrows either. Yeah, but I don't have any wood either. Oh, like next to this, you mean? Oops. It's a big piece of flint. I'm surprised it only lasts one, one use. Ow. Wait, did it just break my flint just now? I didn't even do anything. Dude, everything is made of paper mache in this game. Everything in this game is made of paper mache. Alright. Yeah, we'll have to pin it. Yeah. Um. We need all these actually. Okay. <sighs> frustration. A little bit of frustration. Let me um keep this handy just in case. Am I sw swimming against the current too? Ugh. back for a second here. Can't hear any more. We'll see about that. I'm disappointed at that, man. I'm a little bit bummed. Like, why wouldn't I be able to do that? You know? Spear broke. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. It's a free weapon. Why not? <laughs> the spear broke trap. Yeah, I know. I know. It's funny. I guess that would be my only, like, only critique is, like, I get why they're doing it. Like, I get why it exists that way, but, like, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit silly, actually, how, how flimsy things are. I, in my opinion.
No. <laughs> we finally got it. I wanted that raw meat. Yeah, I don't like a weapon fragility. I mean, they, they, some of these things are made of iron, you know, like... It's not gonna break when you hit flesh and bone, you know? It's just not. The flesh and bone will break, but not the iron. You know? Okay, did we, um... Can we fast travel to that shrine? We can. Fabulous. Well, a lot of strikes. Yeah, but I mean, like, you know, like a sword. You resharpen a sword, you know? You can resharpen a sword. Like, against another piece of, like, another metal object or something. Sure, I can get that. I totally get that part. Ed couldn't hear my call. What do you mean? Of course he can. He's only right here. I have to go to the stable to get him, don't I? Let me just go regather him from the mountainside, I guess. What's all this over here? Is this the goddess here? Yeah, right. This is where you upgrade armor. Okay. Boy, sweet boy. Please listen to my story. Sure. Sure, giant cactus. I'm the great fairy Kotera. This place was once a beautiful spring. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. Oh, I see what this is. It's a big cash grab. As a result, my power has abandoned me. Nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is a hundred. Once my power has been restored, I'm... I, like, obviously... Look at this. Let the hand out. Here you go. I have one. You don't have enough. How tragic. How dreadfully tragic. Man, dude. I don't really appreciate being treated that way. I know it'll be worth it, guys. I'm just kidding around, but... Silent Princess. This lovely flower was said to have been the favorite of Princess of Hyrule. Once feared to have gone extinct, it recently has been spotted growing in the wild again. Cool. Yeah, she can go pick her own rubies out of the grass. I don't appreciate being, uh... treated that way. It's gonna result in a poor Yelp review, I can promise you that much. It'll be a very poor Yelp review. Got him. <laughs> Raw prime meat. Oh, yeah. I love it. Just love to see it. Yep. Oh. Oh, it's rolling. It's rolling. It's rolling. Is it going to catch up, though? I doubt it. <laughs> you better run from my, uh, from my bum. Boom. <laughs> that is so much fun. It's a little bit morbid, I guess, but... Yep. <laughs> hey, Uncle Stan, how are you, man? You have a power outage situation? Uh, you know I can relate to that, right? Oh, that's a, uh... Yep. That's just a gentleman. We don't need to be alarmed. Busy with schoolwork. Got a lot done. Yeah, night's been good, man. Can't complain. Can't complain, man. Oh, boo. We're gathering cooking mats like crazy here. I like it. I'm not gonna be able to make it up there. Well, we might be able to make it up this way, actually. 
Maybe? close. This should be doable here, right? There we go. Ooh, close. I'm just trying to get to my horse, man. That's all I want. I know we could have just gone to that stable, but... Should have had our legs broken there. You make it further if you jump last, it just takes longer. Okay. Unless you get a little bit of a jumping start there to start, to start off. I think it'd be cool if you could mine in this too, you know? That would be kind of neat. A neat mining system. Oh yeah, you definitely make it much further, for sure. We get a little reprieve here, too. The black rock to your left is mineable. That's actually what I saw and I was thinking of it. I'm like, oh man, it would be cool if we could mine that. Use your hammer, okay. Ed, you know what, man? I'm getting a little bit irritated here. You're right here. How could you not hear that? He's probably just, like, frolicking around. It can change gems and can be sold for money. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to get involved with that. him right here, didn't we? Oh, he's over here. Oh, we missed. Oh, he's all the way down there. Oh, it's not working out the way I wanted it to. Alright, Ed, listen, dude, I just spent the last hour trying to get back to you. <laughs> Alright. Shall we maybe get back on track here? <sighs> Do my best metal scream? No way. I have probably family sleeping. That reach? No, it didn't. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's head this way. There's bound to be another shrine along the way, right? There's somebody, oh, there's somebody over here. Singing a song. Okay, we 
are going. Let's make a left here. Okay, do we have to go back up this mountain? Stop here for a second so I can figure out where I'm going here. I have to turn right some more. I'm assuming we gotta go back up, right? Yeah, it actually is really nice. No, it's he's not liking it, man. Ed's not liking it. He's not liking this rocky terrain. Rose that lead everywhere, you're just climbing over the mountains for some reason. I don't know, man. I'm just going towards the dot. <laughs> I'm just trying to make my way over here. Can we uh can we fast travel with the horse in tow? Yeah, I mean, it does it does get you around a little bit. Do we leave the horse behind now too? Is that what just happened? Dude. This horse stays there. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I just want to, like, yeah, I was literally riding it. You know what I mean? Like, I was, I was riding, I was riding the horse. That's why I came here, because I assumed it would drop me off of it. But, like, I was riding the horse. And why would it, like, not teleport my horse with me? You know what I mean? It just seems, I don't know, it just seems kind of funny to me. All right, you know what? Hang on, let's, is there, a, no, the cooking fire is not lit here. All right, let's, let's grab him. Oh, we have a max bond as well. You want it, Ed? Yes, I want it. All right, we'll get Ed ready for you. Yeah, you go out and you find him. You bring him back. He's an unruly horse. Okay. All right. We're back on track. We'll take this road here, so we'll turn around. Stay on the road. Skills me. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, I would I would have thought it would just stay with me. Like we were kind of attached at the time of fast travel, so I would have thought it would have stayed with. It would be one thing if you had ventured out, you know, and you left it behind like I did before. Yeah. That was not the case. We're going the yeah, we're going the right way. Was I pushing it too hard? Is that what happened? Also, if you don't move the controls, your horse will automatically follow the path. Okay. That's helpful. Let me check these guys real quick. Ancient spring. There should be a bunch of these here, right? Badly damaged, of course it is. It's my weapon, so of course it's broken.
I didn't realize that I didn't have any more spurs left. That was my bad. There's a bunch of horses out here. Which one's mine? There he is. Okay, back on track. Stay the course, right? Oh yeah, you will. Cool. Looks like there's a shrine up ahead. Alright, so we should have just come here all along. It's kind of wasting time a little bit. I'm good at that. Excuse me, sir. Hey, it's my boy Beetle. <laughs> oh, I wasn't paying attention again. <laughs> Listen, what I'm trying to tell you is that I just want you to go fast. That's all. I just want you to go faster. <laughs> all right. Ow. <laughs> oh, no. Get out of here. <laughs> Just went head first into that ram. All right, we probably, let's see. There was something off, off to the distance here, I want to say. Let's go this way. Uh-oh. What do we have here? There was a shrine up here, right? These are some big boys. Alright, let's go back this way. I don't know if we're ready for those guys yet. Oh, again? Dude, just watch out. You can't see it? Come on. <sighs> Let's sigh. Let's try was to the left of the fork. Okay. I should probably just drop a pin every time I see a shrine. Just to be on the safe side. What's going on here? Uh, let's put on a, uh, a weapon. Did you get bonked here? Reminder no business hunting for truffles and then weigh monsters out of nowhere. I blame my sister. <laughs> The one who's down on the ground incapacitated, I blame her, yeah. She's the one who refuses to go home until we find some hearty truffles. Okay. <laughs> some hearty truffles. We're traveling all over to find hearty truffles. I know, I know, it's dangerous for two folks to travel on their own these days. You don't have to tell me twice, but then I think about how wonderful those truffles taste. All the worries and warnings melt away. I want to find truffles, too. Apparently it's dangerous, but the thought of the smell and the taste of those wonderful truffles... 
I don't even think about it anymore. Oh my gosh. Pitchfork broke. Ow, ow, ow. ow. This is going to break too, I'm sure. What's the point of the ZL targeting if it's not going to actually lock on? Okay, yeah, it's extremely dangerous here. Try to make so much sound. Man, they are just obsessed with these truffles. Before breaking makes sense. Yeah, well, I mean, that makes sense. Sure. I get that. That makes sense to me. There's a tower. Oh, that's the one we saw way back when. Oh, the shrine's in here. Nice. That's convenient. Because I think this will be a fourth for us, too. See what we got going on in here. What's up, Josh? How's it going, man? How do you do, my friend? Truffles are black pumpkin looking mushrooms that grow usually next to trees. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for this. <clears throat> Alright, what do we got going on in here? We'll check down here first. Looks like another uh, puzzle. Like a ball rolling down ramps and stuff like that type of puzzle. Cool. Oh, it's one of these. We're going to struggle with this, I think, a little bit, I think. Come on. Dude, how do you figure? Look how much this is tipped. <sighs> oh, you can make it, you can make it jump a little bit. It's a little bit nutty. <sighs> of course. <laughs> What's up, Space Midget? You know, it doesn't move, it doesn't move, and then when you, like, keep it in that position for too long, then all of a sudden it takes off, and it just doesn't make sense, because look at how much I have it tilted right now, and it's not going anywhere, and then just a little bit more, 
It's, it's still not moving. I mean, it looks like it should just roll right off, right? It doesn't, it kind of doesn't make sense to me. Hey, there we go. Uh, this way. How do we tell that you literally just turned the whole thing upside down and went instantly? Is that how it works? Man, that just took off. Okay. All right. Except I have to be able to line it up just right. Hang on. Flip the whole thing upside down and then climb. Hang on. Flip the thing upside down. I need to reset this, I think. That works too, yeah? I think we got it, right? We got it. We did it. We won the video game. The entire video game was won just now. You're welcome. What else? Is there is there another chest around here that we can grab real fast too? Probably not. Let me check real fast before we do, because this is gonna start start me over, isn't it? It probably would have been better to look while I was up there, yeah. Because there's there's almost always at least one, right? All right, hey, you know, I'll just do this now. There was a chest in the. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. So we'll have to fly over there. I'm not gonna read that every time. It's the same thing now. Yeah, ball got stuck on it. Right, right. I thought that was our fourth. No, game is best with HUD off. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go back in there. We'll go back and check it out. I like the HUD because I'm a potato, so. Alright, let's go. Let's see if we can get this chest. Can I can I can I make that? I mean, I wonder if I tip it down some more. Hang on, let me try to do this. Can we make it, chat? Oh, easily. Frenetic bow. Inventory's full. 
Let's make some room. Get rid of this guy. Hey Kev, what's up man? Anything else worth our while here? No chest on top of the room. And there's nothing on the other. Okay. I think we got everything right. There's no, there's just one chest in here. Let me take, let me just look over just to make sure there's not like some hidden platform or something. Alright, let's get on out of here. We gotta go talk to somebody here too, don't we? You talk to the tree to get more weapon slots? Uh, the tree. No, I don't think I did. We definitely need to do that, though, because it's getting pretty annoying. Yep. <clears throat> okay, we are here to speak with... This gentleman here. What's here? In? Die shop. General store and armor shop. Okay. Will the horse jump down? Nope. No, we gotta go do that though, Kenneth. This is what I would I would have expected uh, Kakariko Village to be more like, you know. Stop to pick some apples real quick. <laughs> this way, I imagine, right? Pick apples the same way we fish with bombs, that's right, with explosives. <laughs> that is exactly right. Huh. Looks like some prime meat we can we can get here. <laughs> Alright, settle down. Can we get some prime meat in here? love to get some prime meat out of this uh this pen here <laughs> yep. no it looks like it just agitates them hey bud oh there you some kind of wanderer <laughs> this could work out you look handy with about mine helping a poor not today maybe another time oh well shucks let me know if you ever change your mind we will at some point that's the farmer's cow yeah, I know. I just, you know, I'd, I thought I would take a chance and see if we could get some prime cuts out of that, you know? Just want to see if we can get some prime cuts. I imagine later on when we go to make food, we're going to want like a lot of that kind of stuff. There's a little raft over here. Can we go, uh, can we go fishing? Looks like there's ducks or something here. 
No, come back. Oh, we got one. Raw bird drumstick. The red exclamation point. I don't think I did. Oh, there he is. Okay. Let's take a look at the map. We have a kind of a little ways to go here. Not, not far, but... I'm assuming we can get there by way of uh, path or trail or road or something. So we'll just do that instead of veering off. I don't know why you did that. The path is right there. <laughs> Other side of cow. I'll take a look on my way back down. Hang on a second. Going the right way. It's this way. Yeah. 